Really what we should be talking about is the PS5, though. Absolutely, man. Some good news. Let's talk about what we our disappointments, though. Were you disappointed with anything from the presentation? I mean, not really. I, you weren't disappointed with Grand Theft Auto? With the fact that it's not... It's not Grand Theft Auto 6. It's freaking... Look, Grand Theft Auto 5 got released on the freaking PS3. Yep. So they released this thing, expanded and enhanced. What, what does that even mean? So they released it on PlayStation 3 first, and then they released a kind of upgraded version on PlayStation 4. PS4. And now they're going to release this enhanced, enhanced version, I guess. Expanded and enhanced, whatever that means. I want, I want a freaking Grand Theft Auto 6 because uh, reportedly they're working on it and it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to be like a remake of Vice City. So it's, and it's like 2024, in, isn't it? Like, is it? That's my understanding is that it's it's going to be pushed way back. Dude, I was I was really bummed out by that because I saw that Grand Theft Auto uh, when they started. The, I think that's the first thing they showed. I saw that Grand Theft Auto symbol and I was like, yeah, yeah. And then it was like they were showing. Yeah, there were a couple. San Andreas. Of- I was like, why are they showing San Andreas? So. Yeah, um, that game is so huge, man. They it they is. they put themselves into a, a bit of a quandary because they did they did so good on five. Is it is it because the online content though? That's partially it. That was one of the first games to do, like to have such an elaborate online presence, mm. you know. And then you know, Red Dead followed in their in their footsteps and that type of stuff. But it. I think Grand Theft Auto kind of led the way in the online becoming, you know, Call of Duty did it, but I think Grand Theft Auto 5 was far more successful with their online content. Um, but like I was saying, uh, GTA 5 was such a huge game and uh, broke so many barriers. It was such a huge world and uh, so interactive that... If you come out with a six and it's not a considerable step up, you know, then you're going to have a fan base that's completely disappointed. So they're going to wait and put it out. You know, I'm a huge fan of the Last of Us um, franchise, and yeah, that's what you're looking forward to. I'm so looking forward to on the 19th of June. Um, but they did that, man. It took forever forever for them to release the second one and finish it you know because the first one was so good it was so good and it was another one that was the original was released on ps3 Mm. then they did an enhanced for ps4 and it's still making them money you know they're still selling the game well some reviews have been coming out for it and then I've seen some good reviews and I've seen some bad reviews about it. They said it doesn't have the focus isn't there like the first movie, our first game, which I didn't play. So I well, don't I'm going to either way. I'm going to wait until it's other than just these critics that are making the decision for everybody. You know, you got a handful of people that are getting access to it and playing it yep. with their pretentious attitudes and ideas of games and, you know, when the general public gets their hands on it and the general public speaks, that's a, that's when you truly know the worth of a game. Mm. Not by a bunch of critics. 